Hi, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Marek Sadowski. I'm very pleased to be here. Uh, as you can guess from my San Francisco accent, I moved here from Poland, um, and I'm developer advocate with uh, IBM. I am also a startup founder. I do robotics. And uh, I started my career um, in Silicon Valley by uh, a short project uh, 20 years ago now, or today. Uh, I was working in NASA Ames uh, on a VR system to manage robots on Mars. Um, I do various things uh, as a developer advocate. I support um, uh, cloud, uh, cloud AI, uh, and various IoT um, engagements. I, uh, I am based here in Silicon Valley. Um, in San Francisco, we are even hosting today, tonight, a, a container a workshop. If you are free after, uh, after Forward JS uh, conference, uh, please feel free to join us. We have some uh, food, and uh, we will be talking about containers and Kubernetes. Um, but this talk is going to be very short, uh, about 15 minutes. and. Um, and we are going to talk about uh, serverless and uh, about Swift, um, which is a um, thing that um, uh, Dave, uh, one of the organizer, organizers, asked me to, uh, to, to show. Swift is supposed to be a very similar uh, language and have a nice vibe uh, around here. But you can also use JavaScript. And my colleague, Upkar, is going to deliver tomorrow a workshop on, um, on serverless in JavaScript. So please feel free to join um, uh, the workshop. There, there is going to be also other one on, um, on blockchain. Um, so serverless, what is serverless? Uh, these are function as a service. So uh, the major thing over here is that you have a function that runs in the cloud and uh, leverages or pulls the software as a service um, 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 equipment. Please don't, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> All right. Uh, so um, what is the difference between this model and the other models that everybody used uh, for last 10, 20, 30 years is that there are no servers. Uh, you just use a cloud that is provided for you by providers. And uh, those providers like IBM and uh, other in the space, in the, in the function as a service, they are providing for you capacity and you can use it. And you just the, the major thing is that, uh, or the other difference is that in, um, in a regular situation, you would run your, uh, your application all the time. And uh, you could scale it uh, during the real time and uh, scale it up, scale it down. Uh, but you have to pay for uh, this fraction of the, uh, of the uh, en uh, environment, capacity that you are using all the time. And um, so you have to establish your container, maybe VM machine. Uh, or Cloud Foundry, you have to build your application and it's all the time running. So you pay for the capacity. And um, the difference with serverless model it, uh, is that you do not provide, um, you do not pay for the, for the uh, platform when you are not using it. Only you pay when, when you are really invoking the, the function. And the fu function is being invoked by the events or periodically like a, like a cron service. And you can create the, the service in various languages. I will cover that later. And, um, and the code is being executed based on some, uh, some event that is happening. So um, IBM is using um, uh, prog uh, or, or code based on the Apache Foundation OpenWhisk. So it um, doesn't lock you in into the, some particular platform. So you can move it uh, to other platforms that are also using OpenWhisk. And, um, Feel free to try it out. Um, I'm also showing later on a small demo. And uh, if you try the demo with me, you can get the bottle. Uh, so I brought a couple of them here. But also, we have uh, more bottles there. So if you, if you will be able to, if you are able to, to use it, you, can, um, uh, you will be able to get the, the bottle. So uh, one of the feeds that you can get, for example, is a new message coming to the Kafka infrastructure. Or you can have the weather company having a, a new weather. Uh, cha changing the weather, so for example, rain, and then it would create an event that uh, that later on can be uh, uh, can be coming to the uh, to the rule en rules engine and generating the, the results. And you can write your your function uh, in various languages. So you can write it in JavaScript. You can write it in Python. 
you can write it in Swift and, um, and you can also deploy your own Docker container. So uh, as a result of the, um, of, the, uh, of the action. So action can be just a container that you are launching. Uh, languages that are supported, as I said, uh, these are listed. Uh, there are also languages that are coming up, uh, created by the community. So uh, Go, uh, I haven't mentioned, um, but I mentioned Swift, Docker, JavaScript, and uh, there's Haskell, Scala, and other languages coming. Um, so you can have various invocation models, um, but generally you can uh, you can pass some parameters inside the, the function. So usually it's, um, uh, operation is like fire and forget. That's the model of the action. And let's say you would like to act upon uh, some some event, like uh, there is a new object in the in the uh, database, or there is a change in the um, in a GitHub repository, or there is a notification, mobile notification, or or some other thing. So, about the pricing. Uh, What's really uh, cool for the startups, but also organizations, is that you really pay really little money for, for the function. And um, I will show you in the pricing calculator how, how it works. So, um, so it's really small uh, amount compared with the uh, services that, that are being hosted by the, uh, by all, I mean, all the time you are, you are having the server put up and uh, you, you pay for the electricity that, uh, that, that's spinning the, those, uh, those CPUs and so on. Um, so um, where we would put on the uh, kind of stack of the various, um, uh, various models of using cloud. So you have on the bottom, you have bare metal, and then you move up uh, through the, um, through the uh, kind of uh, way how you can approach your platform. So VMs still are having a lot of uh, influence on how you use the platform, but you have to really um, use a lot of uh, administrators to run it. And then you have uh, containers that are encapsulated images, and uh, and they are a little bit less aware of the of the infrastructure. They are more into the uh, um, the power of the of the uh, computing. But then you have Cloud Foundry, where you put away all the administration part, uh, all the updates and so on. Uh, this is the platform administrator, so provider is doing that. But you are still deploying the application server. You are uh, you are saying how much memory you are going to use and so on. In IBM uh, or cloud functions, uh, IBM cloud functions or, or OpenWhisk or other platforms, you just say uh, more or less uh, how long it's going to run. And such a function is going to run about five to 10 minutes, uh, five to 10 seconds at most. So uh, if you run your function longer, it's going to be a um, uh, uh, rejecter or trigger will, will just kill it. And um, and so so this model is just for very short, small uh, actions. If you want to do uh, longer transactions, you need to use uh, your your container or or higher level language to uh, uh, and the container to, to to run it. So examples are uh, using, for example, um, um, just typical application of. Uh, of updating or pulling the data from the from the services, so we can uh, ask what is on the on the service side, and we have a lot of examples. If you come uh, uh, and and you can try it through API Gateway, as it's shown here. Um, I'm also showing uh, examples where you can uh, build your mobile uh, serverless backend, and you can augment this backend with, for example, talking to the uh, to the uh, Watson services or AI services on the same platform. So it's uh, pretty neat that you can uh, combine those things together. And um, let's say you would like to augment the pictures that you are posting with uh, initial identification or tagging, and you would use the service for that for uh, AI-based service. So as I said, uh, it's going to be very short uh, talk. Uh, and if you want to try with me, and if you show me the results after my talk, you will get the bottle here, or if I if I um, use all of these three bottles, then uh, we have at the table a little bit more. Uh, so if you go to the ibm.bis uh, slash cv, so Silicon Valley, dash serverless, dash 2019, uh, you will get to my GitHub repository, which, uh, or you can find it just github.com slash blue Marek S without E, blue Marek S. And, um, and then you, you have to create your own IBM uh, 
uh, cloud account. It's free of charge, light account. It just what you need is just the email address. And in the catalog, you will find the uh, look for functions and provision <coughs> provision the service, and then just go for the uh, quick template. It's all described in this uh, ibm.bis/cv-serverless-2019. So let me now <coughs> stop the presentation, and I will show you the little bit of the example over here. Hopefully, it uh, runs. Okay. So I did what uh, what I what I told you about. Uh, let me just put the screen to the top. So um, I promised you to show you how it, it's going to uh, compile. So we have all the runtimes provided. So JavaScript is one of the uh, um, production ready uh, uh, platforms that you can use inside of the um, runtime of the serverless. These are the event providers and mobile backends and various ways how you can use it. It's used for various uh, platforms. As you see, a lot of companies are using it. But we wanted to see pricing. So uh, the price uh, per second uh, for uh, over execution per gigabyte of memory allocated is uh, I don't know even how much it is uh, one hundred one thousand one ten thousand one hundred thousand one million so it's uh, seventeen uh, hundred thousand of, of a dollar and um, and then uh, let's say we would like to execute something that is going to last for. Uh, let's say uh, one second, so 1,000 milliseconds. It's going to consume half a, half a giga. So it's, um, for Java, it's a, it's a nice server. Uh, and in the beginning, we are just going to execute uh, 500 times per month. And you can, you can easily come to, to this location and find it out uh, over here. So if we add free tier, you see it's zero. So Let's say our startup or our project is launching up and uh, we are moving to 50,000. And um, so it's 43 cents. I'm putting three tiers, so it's zero again. So half a million um, calls, so $4. If I use uh, three tier, it's still zero. So five million um, usages or executions per month. So $42 with the three tier, $35. So imagine you have a site that is using some some uh, some application and you're just using thirty five dollars a month if there is such traffic. If there is zero traffic or just uh, one tenth of five million, so five uh, five hundred, it's four dollars or zero. So it's very important to see that this platform uh, is preferable for the uh, short living um, 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 executions. So. Uh, so short-term, not transaction, long transaction-based uh, applications. And um, as we all see, there is uh, legacy applications, so it's maybe hard to, um, to implement. So, so if you go to my uh, uh, GitHub repository, there is an example how you can use it. So if you go to the uh, overview over here, uh, so I start with the catalog. Uh, you can either browse down and look through uh, 100, about 150 various services and go to these functions, but or or you can just launch the functions, and um, and then you will see this page. So if you start creating, you can go to the quick start templates and you can just test it yourself. So as I promised, uh, it's going to be very easy. And if you do this exercise, exercise with me and you show me the result. Um, then you will get the bottle. So it's uh, pretty easy. So hello world, uh, forward JS, and, um, and we can do it in J JavaScript, but I promise to do it in Swift, so you will freak out, maybe. Or maybe you are see that there are a lot of familiarities between JavaScript and, uh, and Swift language, so it's nothing to, to worry about. And then you would de deploy the service. And you have this greeting, so hello name. Uh, and you can add, uh, I will change it later. And then we have to add the input. So it's just re regular expression in, uh, in um, JSON. So name. And my name is Blue Marikas. Supply. 
And the first invocation is called invocation. So uh, you can you can mitigate that and uh, you can pre-compile Swift and uh, Java, for example. So if I invoke that, it's going to take like three seconds to, to invoke it for the first time. Four seconds, five seconds. Four seconds, so hello Bloomer, I guess. So now let's, let me do it once more with different input. So my first name is Marek. Now I will invoke it once more. So now it's like a couple milliseconds. If I now change um, uh, over here something and I will recompile, it's going to take again a couple, uh, couple of seconds. So hello for, for I cannot write uh, for forward JS. So I save and I, I will just invoke. So again, it takes one, one two, three seconds to uh, compile. And I get this uh, response. And as you see, it's very simple to, uh, to test it out free of charge, and, um, and you can build your uh, backend like this. So uh, you can, you can uh, hook up the database and, um, and get, the, uh, get the function working for, for, for you. Um, and, um, and it's uh, pretty cool because uh, it's really cheap. So, uh, so a lot of people are using that, a lot of startups are using it. Uh, organizations are, they are relying now on cloud. They, they think, oh, why we are, Thinking about having administrators, we just run this type of the uh, of the code. So if I run it now, it's going to take a couple, couple milliseconds, hopefully. So um, so on that, I would finish uh, my talk, and um, I will give you I will leave you with uh, with couple of the uh, links that you can follow. So this is a link that you you can uh, you can re uh, remember ibm.b slash cv dash serverless dash 2019, and uh, my name is Mark Sadowski. I am very glad to be here, and uh, and thank you very much for listening to my talk. Um, if there are any questions, I would be happy to answer them now. <laughs>